Hey everybody, this is Ken. We're in my garage. And I want you to meet somebody. Now, we've always had a, a shop dog, but Razzie, Bree Bree, Razzie. All right, so Razzie is shy, I guess. She's outside. This is Bree, you've seen her before. There's Razzie, bringing us in a piece of grass. Where'd you go? She moves around kind of quick. There is our new little one. And one of the reasons that there hasn't been a video in the middle of this week, because I've been managing the small one and making sure she's not peeing in the house and eating things she's not supposed to eat or chewing on the electrical cords in the garage. But I am working on mounting and you'll have to excuse the mess mounting some tow hooks these are going to go on the front of the truck under the bumper kind of right about there yeah they're going to be down lower than the bumper but they're solid and my issue with mounting those down there is that I can't access the bolt, the second bolt back. So I'm going to make some, what they're called, flag nuts. You take a nut, weld it down to a piece of metal, and I'm actually cutting this metal right here, so they're going to be kind of shaped like that. And then I can slide this piece into the frame rail, until it, the bolt can catch it. And then I can tighten it down and it won't be able to turn because it'll have that much metal there in the frame rail. So it'll just, it'll just hit in there and it won't be able to turn. So I'll be able to tighten that bolt up from the bottom up, tighten it down the back one. The front one is close enough to the end of the frame rail that I can reach it. I can set the nut in there by finger, tighten it in there, hold it with a wrench and it'll all be good. So that's what I'm working on. Um, after I go find where Razzie went, I will uh, get to it and show it, show it to you as I go. The first thing I'm going to do is drill some holes in this just because it'll be easier as a big piece than it will as two little pieces. So I've got uh, mark, slot marks there that go around the bolt and I'm just going to eyeball the center of it. I don't have to be 100%. It's got to be pretty close because the frame rail is only an inch and a half and this is just under inch and a half, but uh, I'm just going to eyeball it, and those bolts are metric, but a half inch is just slightly larger than they are, so I'm going to punch it a half inch, and maybe I'll go a little bit bigger, just in case I don't center it well, but it should be, you know, because I'll run the bolt up through it before I tack it in place. So hopefully it'll be good. But for right now, we're just gonna eyeball it and drill it. Now I'm actually gonna get on some glasses so I can eyeball it closer. Two holes. Oh, I caught Razzie outside, chewing on bark, which she knows she's not supposed to do. She ran from me when I told her no, then stopped, sat down, spit out the bark, and she got put in her little kennel. So she's not happy right now, but we'll leave her there for half an hour or so and get her back out. She'll be, she'll be good. All right, I'm gonna clean these off and then cut that and I'll probably do it with my chop saw. I don't know if I've showed you this or not, but you can use your step bit to clean off all that, that stuff that's sticking around the holes.
just walk it down in there real nice and easy and it cleans up the hole real nice chamfers the edges there's your tech tip for the day all right i hacked them into two pieces now i'm going to do a little grinding and just get them cleaned up they don't have to be perfect they're never going to be seen once they're bolted in but uh, i figured it might as well have a nice edge on it so let's get to it also for some reason i want that one to round out like that one a little bit One down. Where'd it go? The hazard of having a very small piece and not holding on to it very hard. It's actually in there. Now that got sucked into this wheel, which is why we wear protection. Um, it's sitting down in the bottom. Thankfully this wheel has been worn a lot. It doesn't reach all the way to the bottom, so it didn't get kicked all the way around and throw back out and hit me, which would have been bad. So safety first, I guess. Let's get it out of there. There it is. I just need to hold on to it better. Try again. I really like hitting them with the wire wheels. It takes off all the rough edges, or all the sharp edges anyway. It's a little rough. Those will slide in. So now I gotta weld the nuts to them. Next step. I wanted to mention that I had these nuts sitting in muric acid, uh, a very small percent of muric acid, water uh, and then a little muric acid, and you drop the nuts in, they were in there for about 10 minutes, and it took all the zinc off them. So there's no zinc on these, so you have to do that if, if, you, if they're covered with zinc because zinc fumes are poisonous. So just remember that. It's going to be a little difficult for you to see what's going on down there. If I had a lift, it'd be a little easier, but I will show it to you when I bolt it on, but I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I've got, uh, I've got the nuts welded on. I TIG welded them. Not for any particular reason. I could have MIG welded them. I just did TIG because I need to practice with the TIG. I'm terrible at it. And I had more gas in the TIG welder than I did the MIG welder. So I used the TIG, but anyway, the cool thing about these, well, where did I get them first? I got them off a 2003 Super Duty, which is great because down at the scrapyard, they were only five bucks. So score on, score on tow hooks that are super heavy. But this is the neat part about them. You got one hole right here and the other hole is slotted and has a big square. See that? So I'm going to be able to put this in the frame with the, and put the nut on it before I ever mount this because once this is in the frame it's going to go right over there and slide into place like that so that makes it really easy for me to get this into into this nut without having to hold this up at the same time and and hope I have three hands which I don't. So I'm gonna stick these under there. Then I'm gonna stick this under there and I'll show it to you. When well, I thought, what the heck, let's bring you down here and show you what we're doing. If we can see it. Got a little bit of light here. All right, this is what we're doing. This is the frame holes, that it, the holes in the frame that I drilled. I've already stuffed the wing nut right up this hole here 
or I should say the flag nut, and got this bolt screwed into the flag nut. Now, the flag nut will go up and down, but it will not turn side to side. So I can turn this bolt tighter or looser as I need it to be. I've got a wrench that should hold that nut just fine. And we'll just set it right in there where it needs to be and move it around as necessary. First thing, this looks, the back nut will slide right through here. I'll pull it back and get it in place. Maybe even tighten it up a little bit. Well, that one's too big for that nut. The only issue with swiping all this stuff off of modern Super Duty, well, 20 year old Super Duty, is that it's all metric. Not exactly the most happy thing. But, all right, we tighten this one up a little bit. All these nuts are lock nuts in here that I'm using, so nothing will come loose once we've got it all in there. But let's just see if we can get this one captured right away. Kind of walking and wiggling around. There we go. Got it. All right. Probably work a lot better or faster with my air hammer, but I just don't want to pound on this a whole lot and maybe break loose the... I welded it all around, it's not gonna break. I'm more worried about this front one than I am the other ones. Because this is a very lightweight wrench I'm holding it with. But once I tighten it down and that nut grounds on the frame, it should hold it pretty good. tight and that wrench comes off yay now let's get this one tight all right toe hook on you see that I don't know if I'm helping any at all, but there it is. I'll get out from under this truck and be right back. Okay, well that was a fun little thing. I just, I thought some tow hooks would be good on this um, in case we do something stupid and get stuck, which we're gonna do. And uh, then we'll be able to tow out easier than having to hook on an axle or something. And I think it looks pretty good. Can you see them right down there? Let's zoom, get down there close. There they are. They're just peeking below the bumper. And there's one on each side. There's the other one. Right there. That's not only looks good, I think, but is functional. So, fun thing to do. Took a little while, mostly because I had to chase dogs around, that kind of thing. But uh, I'm happy with it. I, th I think it looks good. It's functional. I'm happy with how it turned out. I hope you guys like watching. Get out there, work on your stuff. Have some fun. Send me a picture or two. See you guys later. <laughs>